So I used uh, the curl souffle again today to do my hair. And I actually used it twice. Because the first time I came across a little bit of an issue. Um, I put it in after my leave-in and then kind of went a little product crazy because my dislike of frizz and I was trying to get rid of it and I guess um, when you just add more products on then it eventually just gets frizzy anyway. So I kind of messed it up. But um, anyway, so first step after leave-in, curl souffle. Uh, then, okay, this is going to get really funny real quick. Um, then I used my curl define to try to put out some more frizz like I did the other day um, when I used it with Angel. So then I applied the curls goddess glaze. You see, I've literally had this since probably July and I still have like this much left because I barely ever use it because I kind of hate it. Um, so I applied this. Still frizzy, wasn't very happy with it, um, but then I also think that it just got frizzy because um, of the oils of these two mixed together, so I think I was kind of just like not going to get any better with it. So then, okay, this is the gross part, because I definitely used stuff with cones, just because I thought it would help. Okay, first I used Redken Smooth Down, just a silicone. Uh, serum, which I used to use when my hair is relaxed. I have not used this since I cut off my hair, or even, I haven't used this since like March of like 09. So anyway, this was applied. <laughs> it was still frizzy. Yeah, I don't understand why this, it even says it's like a uh, tame frizz on the most rebellious hair. Yeah, okay, psych. Didn't work. Um, then I applied the Ojun hair conditioning, like the finishing paste that I wrote about before that I kind of also hate a lot, but it's a, it does get rid of frizz, and it actually did get rid of my frizz. Um, after I put this in, my hair was not frizzy anymore, but it was almost like ashen, I guess, like I had way too many products on, like way too many with this, one, two, three, four, five, no. Okay, so I had way too many products on, um, and with this, so my hair just felt really, really gross. So I actually did like a rinse. I know that apple cider vinegar doesn't really get rid of comb buildup, but I only used like one. So hopefully it'll come out with water and conditioner because I don't like shampoo. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys a few pictures of what my hair looks like after this little product combination. In some of the pictures, you can't really see the frizz. But just know it's there. It was like that halo spiderweb frizz. Um, I didn't enjoy it. So um, I'll be back and I'll show you guys what happened when I did my hair for the second time today. All right, bye. Okay, hope you liked that little photo montage there of what my hair looks like. Um, I don't, like I said, you probably couldn't see the frizz, but it was super, super frizzy. And I just, I know natural frizz is okay. It doesn't always mean that your hair is dry, but I think with short hair, when it just has like an, a layer of frizz over it, it just looks like you just woke up out of bed. So I don't like it. So, okay. So then after I did my rinse with ACB, green tea, um, then I just used Trader Joe's uh, Nourish Spa and mixed it with some castor oil in the shower. Um, then I got out and I used Nourish Spa for my leave-in again. Um, I, earlier today I used my Darcy's Botanical leave-in but I didn't want to waste more of it just to experiment because that shiz is expensive and Nourish Spa costs like $3. So then I uh, reapplied the souffle. We're getting to know each other quite well over the past couple of days. And then I just applied the goddess blade. Obviously after I applied the souffle by itself it was still frizzy. Like I said it does give you like a pretty good curl definition but then there's the little halo frizz. Um, okay so then I applied the goddess blade and actually surprisingly 
it did get rid of the frizz. I think I applied more goddess glaze than I usually have applied previously. Maybe, maybe not, but I also didn't apply, another, I skipped another moisturizer and I just went from souffle to goddess glaze. Okay, so here's the plus that it works, therefore I just save two products that I don't like. So after I use them up, I won't buy them again, but at the same time, I'm not wasting products because it's actually a pretty good combination together. Um, if you see my hair, I don't know, it's still wet, but the curls are doing their thing. You know, it's my hair is not hard at all because I guess I didn't really apply a lot of product today, so, well, after I washed it. So it's not hard or anything, it's not over producty. Um, there was no whiteness really going on, so that's good. Um, but at the same time, like these are both in the curls line, they do their product by step, and styling is the fourth step. And these are both step fours, and so you're supposed to be able to use each of them alone, but I definitely had to combine them. So I mean, it's just spending more money on things that should work by themselves. Um, so verdict, uh, saved myself, what, like $30 because I will be able to use these products, um, but I will not be repurchasing them because I can get the same results with my Holy Grails that I enjoy buying much more. So that's pretty much it. Have a lovely day and stay fabulous.